And welcome back. You're still watching this beautiful day. This is Weather HQ. Now, patis has long been a staple in Filipino cooking, but did you know that there is a healthier, low-salt version that is now being developed using tahong or green mussels? Now, joining us via Zoom are two key people behind this innovative sauce. Miss Ernestina Peralta, or Miss Le, a retired UP Visayas researcher who helped develop the technology, and Dr. Reynold Tan, the project leader and director of the Technology Transfer and Business Development Office of UP Visayas. Good morning to the both of you, and it's a beautiful day. Good morning. Hello, good morning. It's it's nice to be part of the program today. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Miss Le, I'll start off with you first because yeah. uh, I love the idea of a healthier version of patis, especially using tahong or green mussels. Can you tell us a bit more about how this idea came about? Why did you decide to use tahong in particular? And of course, the need to actually do this. Yeah. So basically, the idea came from... Uh, uh, we want to develop a product from uh, Tahong. So, um, a, um, as an alternative, raw material in producing uh, a similar product, like your, our patis, patis, yung, yung fish patis. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, why Tahong? Uh, um, actually, green mussel is one of the top producing commodities, aquaculture commodities produced in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So the Philippines has a lot of culture uh, mass, uh, culture areas suitable for uh, mussel farming. So with the availability of the resource, the production of yung, yung patista home can be sustainable. So that is basically one of the objective of the project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, uh, can, so make it, it a twist na medyo, uh, yeah, yun nga, we want it towards to a healthier version of the current traditional uh, patis. Mm -hmm. So Doc, I'll mm -hmm. ask you this question because we are so excited. Kulang na lang, the patis is here. I want to try it. <laughs> As somebody who drenches like sinigang and my pansit with patis, I am very excited for this because as you guys have mentioned, this is nutritionally healthier. There's less salt and it's better for um, everybody, I guess, in general. So how does this differ from regular patis and what are its, I guess, nutritional values? Dr. Reynolds, did you answer that? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, what, what sets our patis apart from all the other patis is that it's high protein and also it contains an other uh, non-nutrient and nutrient components, which makes the product healthy. Mm -hmm. What about the taste, Bob? That's Monique's uh, biggest issue. Will it taste mm -hmm. healthy or will it actually mimic the taste of regular patis? Um. Actually, if we're talking about two commodities, no, mussel is different from fish. Right. Basically, the taste itself is different. Um, it's closer in terms of yung, um, maybe the umami flavor, pero the, but our patis tahong is, 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 has a unique um, taste and aroma. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, yung, yung food nila, is very much different from fish. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a um, yung crab like yung yung cooked crab taste. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have eaten cooked crab. Yes. <laughs> you have that, yeah. We... So it's similar to that to that uh, no, to that uh, taste. Mm -hmm. So slightly iba yung like... flavor profile niya. Actually, that yeah, brings me to my good. next question because uh, Doc Reynolds in particular when we talk, talk about introducing this product to the Filipino consumers who have an idea na itong lasa ng patis, how has the reaction yeah. been to those who have tried this for the first time? Okay, uh, the, the, the market is very ecstatic about the new product that we're going to, prom, uh, to, to, to introduce. And based on the market, uh, the market surveys that we did, about uh, a good 83% are willing to, to buy and about 75% are, are, are willing to try. We also had it tested by... By, by friends, by, by, by chefs, and local carinderias. And it seems that the, the, we have very good uh, reviews coming from them. Um, they want it, uh, especially now that there's a growing market for health, uh, for health helpful products. And it, I think it would be a very good, uh, it can uh, 
it can penetrate that that specific market in in in, in the in, in the market. Miss mm -hmm. Let, when you guys were coming up with this concept using green muscles for patis, how difficult was it to create something similar to what Filipinos love and use every day? Um, of, of course, in every uh, R and uh, in the. Uh, uh, endeavors there are a lot of challenges but but for this uh, project or for this uh, product development uh, we yung pinaka, I think that the very difficult challenge that I had is to control the quality of the, mm. the raw material because uh, basically we require yung green muscle namin live Yung buhay pa siya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because if, you know, if one, one even one muscle na, na dead, na nasama dun sa batch mo, will make the whole batch bad. So, we made uh, a lot of um, protocols. Yung mga, um, what to do so we can maintain the, 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 the animal alive before shocking. <laughs> alive siya before shocking basically parang <laughs> medyo sadista <laughs> so <laughs> you have to shock it live okay you maintain the quality no we understand uh, of course um, the quality has to be there and when we talk about trying to spread this and trying to make sure na talagang it is a alternative industry that we can create especially with the amount of um, muscles that the uh, Philippines does in general produce how replicable is this to different areas around the country and not just for the area po ninyo uh miss le ah actually we have different ano di ba i mentioned earlier there are a lot of uh suitable culture sites in the philippines one is in uh you to mention is uh, cavite we have a lot of uh, green muscle culture there pangasinan and bataan and probably Sertan can um, elaborate on this mm -hmm. <laughs> regarding uh, our future plan. It's very easy to, to replicate because we have a wide range. So long as the, the, the area has its potential for muscle culture, uh, the, the project is very rep replicable. We mm -hmm. at UPV, we have a wide range of technologies for muscles. We have perfected already the technology for muscle ha hatcheries. So areas where there used to be muscles can be transplanted with new muscles. Areas where there is an existing set of muscle population but seems not enough, we can produce hatchery uh, uh, hatchery. Uh, actually produced uh, spots we also have uh, uh, we have also the technology very readily available and we have also a good support from 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 UP UP Visayas and the DOST and and any any and in particular any community with muscles we can introduce the technology mm -hmm. very reputable and how does your new innovation support the local muscle farmers or fishing communities around the Philippines uh, one thing good about the technology is that it, it, it will not just support our our patis producers. It will produce, uh, it, it can create many more ancillary services. Yeah, For example, it can support the lives of muscle farmers. It can support village women who will participate in the in the process in the in, in post harvest handling and processing like shocking of muscles. They can uh, they can help in also in the selling and many more side uh, ancillary technologies. So it can significantly improve the lives of the people, especially in our countryside and our fisher folks in particular. Well, mm. we have to emphasize live shocking po, according to Ms. Le. Um, <laughs> yes. a, bit, a bit sadistic, pero ganun talaga, just to ensure the quality. But um, Ms. Le, when we talk about the interest of this, I mentioned about that uh, the reception has been good so far. Uh, have has the group has your group been approached uh, in particular when it comes to producing this at a larger scale are we already at that point that uh, we are comfortable with the type of product and the type of processes involved into scaling this project into something more yeah this is certain <laughs> oh, okay uh, sorry sorry dr L, go ahead <laughs> okay uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, we we 
uh, we already have test. Uh, we have already uh, received a number of inquiries regarding the the technology. Some from big corporations and uh, and also from from smaller communities. Uh, for 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 we already have a market research agreement with one big uh, producer of patis, except that we're still trying to. Uh, to to get the we were still finalizing the the additional necessary result uh, laboratory results to 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 strengthen our claim regarding the 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 health and many other safety standards of the product among local communities also we already have received a number of of, of requests to somehow replicate the the product in in their respective areas so that it can somehow. Uh, increase the, the the income of of muscle farmers and 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 women also and and and, and women in the their respective areas. Yeah, we're so excited for the tahong patis. I know Paolo and I can't wait to get our hands on this. Where <laughs> is this available? How do we order them? <laughs> Actually, uh, we just start. We just finished the R and D, and then we did the. Uh, process optimization. So we actually we're looking forward to the commercialization of this product. So we have to, uh, you know, uh, uh, look for the right, uh, actually we want to have it at, at the com community level, um, people's organization, and, uh, you know, um, let them produce the, the, the product. So mm -hmm. Basically, it's still a little further from coming into your table. <laughs> All right. But uh, Ms. Le, I, I have a suggestion because uh, my partner here is very, very interested in it. Kung pwede po, magpadala ng um, isang bote, tapos uh, magla-live tasting po siya dito. Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> Gusto niya mag-live tasting dito ng uh, muscle patis and of course, uh, with uh, honest reaction. So Yeah, I would love that, honestly. <laughs> let's do it! Alright, but uh, Ms. Le, let's talk about first uh, the hope for this project um, in terms of health and in terms of livelihood because it is starting to grow. Dr. Reynolds was mentioning a while ago about its potential of uh, being scaled to a higher degree but what do you want for this project to become now that you're seeing it starting to grow into something a bit bigger Ms. Le? So basically um, we had already the prototype product so yung, um, putting it into a larger scale basically um, and then um, yung in a sense that um, you involved communities to produce the product, and then then they themselves can ano, can market it. Kasi yun nga, um, uh, we designed it. Basically, it's designed for uh, a uh, community level uh, type of business. So mm -hmm. hopefully, um, we if we go forward to the commercialization of the product and then pro launch it into the market it can be ano yeah it can be at that but this consumer uh the consumer at this love loving consumers table at the end yeah we're excited for that uh, monique in particular uh doc tan if uh, people want to reach out to either partner with you guys or learn more about the product how can they do so okay they, they can always contact us at the uh, University of the Philippines Visayas, the Office of the Technology Transfer and Business Development Office. We are at. Uh, uh, we have also our, our web page, and they can also. Uh, we also have our our Facebook page. They can all they can do is they can uh, they can contact us, and we are there ready to serve. Because at the end of the day, uh, we at the University of the Philippines uh, Visayas. We want to, to stamp our name as the leader in, in innovation, which can create impacts to the life of the uh, the lives of the many, particularly the, the fisher folks uh, in the countryside. Ms. Peralta, Doc Tan, I cannot wait to be able to taste this healthier patis. Uh, my partner in particular will start making TikToks about it. Thank you so much for sharing your work on this healthier patis, and hopefully we get to see you in person soon. Maraming salamat po. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.